Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'd like to give you an introduction to the Depth Texture op. I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Okay, great, let's get started. As we can see with this scene, I've used a random cluster op and a material so that we can see a random bunch of cubes. And I want this to move around and just add an orbit control and click and drag with my mouse. So the distance from the camera has a depth and we can access this inside of cables. So if we look at the render to texture op, first of all, let's make this nice and crisp by clicking MSAA and putting it to eight. This is the depth texture output, but it's gonna look weird if we plug it in here, it's just red. So we need a way to see this. So if I go to sequence and I type in image compose, and then I pull down and I type in depth texture. If I now grab this and plug it in there, get the output from image compose and plug it here. We now see this on the screen. So what we're seeing here is, is the darker something is, the closer it is, and the brighter something is, the further away it is. Um, so if I now pull far plane down and keep dragging it down, as you can see, we get more of a gradient effect now. It's kind of like um, more what we'd expect. Um, there's a reason for this. We can't know how far away something is up front. So you can control this with the far plane. Near plane, you don't normally have to touch. If we click invert, we get this. So now it's the other way around. If something is brighter, it's closer to the camera. So you may wonder what you could use this for. Well, it can be used with the depth of focus um, op, which allows you to blur things like looking through a camera lens. You can also use this in a multitude of ways to do a lot of really cool compositive tricks. So if I go over here and I put in image compose and then draw image and then another draw image, I'm now going to get the original image and plug it in here. Let's just see that like this. And I'm now going to get the output from that texture and add it here. So if I now click on this and say add so I don't override, as you can see, I've now added a brightness to the cubes dependent on distance. So this is it originally, and I can now make them brighter the closer that they are. I can also go here change the far plane and the way that this reacts. So there's a lot you can do with this, but I just wanted to show you where to find this in cables. I hope this tutorial has been informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the video below or to post them in the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.